Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing a MacBook Pro case. I recently got a MacBook Pro. Um, it's the new one. I don't even know what to call it. It's the 13 inch MacBook Pro um, and it has like the touch bar. So that's really cool. Kind of thin. I mean, it's not too thin like an air, but it's thin. So I wanted to, of course, go ahead and get a case. So I went to Amazon and it took me a while. I looked through a lot of reviews and a lot of different brands. But I found a case that I like and so far I haven't had any issues with it so I wanted to review it for you guys because I know when I was looking for cases it was hard and I didn't know what brand to go with because you know some people will have issues or like their case will crack and shipment whatever so it just scares me and I feel like everything that I find is gonna suck but I just took a leap of faith and I just purchased one and so far I'm satisfied so I want to show you all the case um I already Put it on my Mac and I'll add the clips like of me putting it on there. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all it comes in this like plastic protective uh, baggie and it just says that it's a tough shell hard case for the MacBook Pro. Um, I will say that the brand that I went with to buy my case it had different options so for all the different size like MacBook Pros and you know when you're searching for like a case for your computer you want to make sure that you're looking at the right model like I have a pro I don't want to be looking for a case for an air so just make sure that you look in like the little description I guess of the case when you're searching them up on Amazon um, and then once you go to select your case or your style whatever it's gonna tell you to make sure that you're selecting the right model number so I have a specific model number so I found that on my Mac or I looked it up whatever and then I made sure that I selected the right one and then when your um, case ships, it asks you again to confirm, like make sure that you're ordering the right one because um, the company's not responsible for you getting the wrong case. So, so it came in there and then I put it on. So this is, it's like a marble off-white, hopefully the camera will focus and kind of capture it, but it's like an off-white marble. So my camera sucks. It's not picking up really all of the marble, but you'll see in the clips I attach um, what it actually looks like. But the case um, just snaps on. So like there's like little indentions where you just kind of click it and snap it on in like five places on the front and the back. And then they did send a bottom part to the case. So it's just um, like air venting, I'm assuming, so it doesn't overheat. And it has these little like table prongs for it to sit up. Um, so your case doesn't have to just rest on the counter or whatever and get scratched on the bottom. I didn't get a keypad cover. Um, some brands I was looking at did include that, but I figured I don't really need that. It'll get dirty. Um, and some of them were, like, reviews that I looked at were saying, like, the lettering on the keypad cover wasn't matching up with the keypad. So it was just, like, unnecessary. I really don't need it. Uh, so I just didn't get it. So... I just got the case itself, like the top part and the bottom part. But I also realized when I tried to upload a video that this computer is different. There's two little ports right here. Um, probably can't see it, but there's two little ports for an adapter. And I believe the only adapter that you would need is like a USB-C hub adapter. So the only way I know how to describe that, and I got one, is it has a USB port. It has a... SD card port, an indicator light, with it, I guess saying that it's plugged in and that stuff is plugged into it. Um, another USB, a Thunderbolt. So it's just a lot of different ports that you can have for your devices. Um, I guess they just case wouldn't leave room for the adapter. It's a little loose when I plug it in, like so. But I'm just going to be using it while I have something plugged in. So you don't have to have it in the entire time, which is fine. Like it's a little loose, I can pull it right out. So if I needed to, I could take the bottom of the case off, but it's fine. I don't really care that much. So if that's something that you're going to be concerned about, or if you get a bigger um, USB-C hub port, whatever, then you might want to reconsider like your case or having the bottom part because the bigger ones are going to be harder to plug in. I haven't had any problems with it breaking or like not adding up to like the alignment of the computer itself. So everything snapped into place for me. I'm satisfied. I haven't had any issues with the case. It feels good. Um, and I like that it still shows the Apple on the Mac, even though it doesn't light up anymore, which is weird. But I didn't want a case that completely covered it because then I just feel like I can't really see my Mac, if that makes sense, you know. So I'm glad that the marble cutout still shows the Apple. And then the bottom, it's just simple. So I like it. They had a lot of different designs that you can choose from. 
Um, and it got to me really fast because I have Prime, so it took two days. I don't know how long normal shipping is, probably three to five business days, but you won't have to wait very long if you're unboxing your new Mac and you're worried that you're going to mess it up. It'll get to you really quickly, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. I definitely recommend this brand. I will attach the brand for both the case and the USB attachment in the description box so you guys can check those out. Thank y'all for watching.